know what? Let's just make a video about this. I'm gonna show you how to remove the sound lock off a Porsche wheel. Let's go. The first thing is I remove this precious GT3 wheel cap and then I go and unpackage my breaker bar slash torque wrench. Now we have the center lock socket and the breaker bar all assembled. I carefully connect the socket to the center lock nut. Currently it's at the factory setting with some track miles and it's around 450 foot pounds. By the manufacturers it's recommended to jack up the car and to lift up instead of push down. Now very carefully I try to remove the wheel from the car without damaging this $10,000 carbon ceramic brakes. Now the wheel is off, we're gonna get the wheel ceramic coated and then we're gonna put it back on the car. Now the wheels receive some deep cleaning process. First thing is with our magical wheel cleaner and then some heavy rinse and then some wipe down and removing some tire residue. While the wheels are being ceramic coated, let's go to the brake calipers, clean them up and get them ceramic coated. Very deep cleaning followed by a degreaser and ceramic coating was applied all over. Obviously not including the carbon ceramic disc. Once all that set and done, now let's put the wheel on. I go ahead and transfer the wheel to the hub, put the sound lock in and give it a torque. 444 foot pounds. I torque it down the first time and then loosen it back up by 90 degrees. And then I go ahead and torque it one more time. Under and roll, I always torque it twice. It's not useful and it's also not harmful. On these cars, you always have to pull up instead of push down. Also, always have to be done off the ground.